Stampede, the Saddle Dome, Tam Conum Energy Companies, the world's biggest gay rodeo, and me until I was seven. Day one of Fiji's return to the Marine For our Fiji tour, we decided that we were going to take our brand new here SUV, Suzuki. It's rather embarrassing for myself personally to be seen in such a vehicle, but it's pretty new. It's kind of awful. It feels like you need to tip over if you're going to start the day at the Urban Bake. So well, actually, we just we started at the Deluxe Diner Deluxe. Whoop. We started at the Diner Deluxe. Pardon. Coming up to 10th Avenue, we're going to go left here to see if we can find any of the houses that I used to live in. See if any of them are still standing. But things are a bit vague here because I'm not really sure where we're going because I haven't been here in like 15 years. This is where the Jan Marinos used to live. When I was four years old, you know, well, that was, of course, my first Italian experience. But they're no longer here. They bulldozed all the houses. There's all these. There's the, the Calgary Tower in downtown. So this used to be a grassy boulevard where Ronnie Jamarino and I would go up and pick dandelion greens for dinner for Mrs. Jamarino. It made me realize the difference between a dandelion and a thistle. Here we are at Peter's Drive. Look at that. It's huge. How popular it is. It's like the double drive Whoever knew? Both sides of the building, no waiting. Well, actually, a lot of people. So popular. Just huge parking lot too. Look at all those people over there. Must be good. From uh, over there, it's quite interesting when you get right to it. You look at the cars on the layers of cars and curves, and there's no place for people to sit that's you know covered from the elements. It's been quite interesting. This is cool. It's like an old corner store. And you can see it's straight across the street from the Stanley Jones School. Stanley Jones School, built in 1913 and designed in the neoclassical tradition. There's something kind of sad about this tree here. It's all kind of dead. I wouldn't suppose it would have anything to do with all this asphalt they've poured over those old roofs. Originally called Bridgeland School. It was renamed for one of Canada's war heroes, Stanley Jones, in 1968. So this is a garden that was built here at Stanley Jones for the memory of the influenza in 1918, which killed so many people. And the school was used as a place, as a hospital during that time. For two months, the school was closed. And this garden is to remember those people that died here and suffered, and um, the plants are healing plants, traditional healing plants, and the maze aspect of it is supposed to make you lose sense of your direction so that um, you get a kind of meditation from just sort of walking around and going down this you know, curvy path. So there. This is the house we moved in when I was six years old, and because I was in the wrong Probably worth about two million dollars now. Really? But the other houses are gone. But I'm glad 319 is still here. It's looking good. It's looking not too bad at all. Looking pretty good. We're going to go to Lena's today because, of course, I'm still Italian at heart, thanks to Mrs. Jamarino. So we're going to go in now. Bed. Lena's and check it out. See what they got off. Here we are in the liquor store. We're trying to get some delicious Italian wine to go with our delicious jam. I love to uh, embark upon I think we need to get 12. Uh, 
Now here you can see a PT Cruiser, the kind of car that I have, which is Globe Mail called the Eco Car. And right beside it, holy schmoly, it's huge! Huge! I can't imagine how much gas it would take to run that thing across the country. The favorite part is uh, the sweetest car because of the hot weather. What's your favorite? Favorite? It's this one. Uh, South of Brooks or East of Lethbridge. So here you see all this food, and uh, you could use the land to grow food and feed ourselves, or we could use the land and we could make ethanol, which is kind of a crappy fuel. Um, it works and everything, but uh, really, you know, we, we use all of our food lands. We, we grow enough ethanol to power a small percentage of our auto fleet. So really, the solution is not going to be ethanol, especially when you take natural gas to make it, which is like taking a nice, high-grade, clean fuel and making a more dirty fuel. Problematic, really. So really, that's what you should be using your favorite corn for, is for, you know, making delicious corn, as opposed to fueling up your SUV, which is a total waste of energy. So you need to think of something different, like not driving SUVs or, um, and, you know, using more bicycles or transit.